Hello, my name is Mira Hoffman, and today we're doing a 20-minute yoga video for anxiety and stress. So if you find that you suffer from anxiety or you feel overwhelmed, favorite this video and come back to it and watch it when you need it. Um, it's a great practice to do on a regular basis, so every day you could wake up and start this video or when you have a break for lunch. It's a great opportunity to kind of create more stillness, peace, and calmness in your life. So go ahead and start by coming to the top of your mat, and you can bring the feet either touching together or hip width apart. As you're standing here, go ahead and tuck the hips down so you're starting to engage the core. This just helps create a nice strong position of strength and power. We're going to inhale, reaching the arms up and out. And as you exhale, bringing them in together, palms in front of the heart. And just feel the fullness with each breath as you stand here and as we move through the practice. So as you inhale, again, really expanding the lungs. We're going to reach the hands up over the head. And as you exhale, we'll swan dive down, nice flat back, letting the hands come to the floor. Taking a few deep breaths here, go ahead and relax the neck and shoulders. You can do this by just turning the head gently from side to side and letting the weight of your torso just pour towards the ground, surrendering to gravity. On your next inhalation, we're gonna step the right foot all the way back, dropping the right knee and the right top of the foot. And as you sit here again, taking a nice deep breath, expanding the lungs. And as you exhale, noticing how the weight is sinking into your hips, so you're getting a nice stretch in the front of your hips and also the hip crease. On your next inhalation, curling the right toes under, we'll step the left foot back, coming into plank pose. So nice strong position here, body's in a straight line, and you'll notice that my shoulders are stacked over my wrists, so real strong position of power here. Exhale, drop the knees, then the chest and chin. And this is cobra position, bringing the elbows in towards the body. And you'll notice that there's a big gap from the floor and my hips, so I'm getting a nice stretch on my low back here. Take a little deep breath here to just come into the pose more deeply. And on your next inhalation, you're going to extend the feet so the tops of the feet come to the ground and pulling the torso up off the ground. Shoulders are back and down, elbows are in. Your face is nice and relaxed. And again, just focusing on that nice deep inhalation and exhaling completely as well. Inhale, curl the toes under. We'll exhale, push into the hands and feet, working the heels towards the ground. This is called downward dog or inverted V position. So as you're staying here, really pushing through each fingertip, full of, through the full surface of the hand. And noticing how you're getting a nice stretch throughout the back, the spine even through the backs of the legs, the calves, and hamstrings. And we can spice this up a little bit by bending the right knee and letting the weight shift into the left side. So nice intensification of that left stretch. And then exhale, extending the right knee. We'll let the left knee bend forward. Now I'm shifting the weight into that right side. Remembering to take those nice deep breaths here, relaxing the face, softening the jaw, and exhale, extending the left knee, coming back into neutral, so both heels are working towards the ground, both legs are extended. And inhale, we're gonna step the right foot forward, dropping the left knee and the left top of the foot. So just like the how we did on the opposite side, letting the weight sink into the hips. Coming back to our breath. 
and inhale curl the left toes under we'll exhale step the left foot forward letting the body hang so a nice little micro bend in the knees just to protect them from overextending you can let the arms just drape towards the ground the head again is nice and relaxed you can turn it from side to side if you need to and on our next inhalation, we're going to reverse swan dive. So coming back out, straightening the back and reaching up, engaging the hips, reaching gently back and exhaling the arms down. So that was one half of our sun salutations and we'll move into the next round. But as we were doing that, it was reminding me that I had a delicious smoothie for breakfast. So I just wanted to ask you, have you ever had a smoothie? If so, what do you like to put in your smoothies? Some of my favorite things are apples and bananas and almond butter. And sometimes I'll even clip some veggies from my garden and throw them in there as well. So leave us a comment and let us know what you think about your smoothies. What's your favorite smoothie? Moving on to the next side, we're going to inhale out, reaching the hands out and about. And exhale, bringing them together in front of the heart, really centering and grounding into the floor. And inhale, reaching up, tucking the hips back. Exhale, folding forward. So this time I'm reaching the hands out the whole time. Hands come to the ground, fingertips and toes are in a straight line. And again, just turning the head, releasing any tension letting yourself really surrender to gravity so your feet are supporting you your hands are supporting you just let yourself come into this position inhale step the left foot all the way back dropping the left knee and the left top of the foot so again really letting the weight sink in here if you want to keep the gaze soft looking out towards the horizon Inhale, curl the left toes under. We're gonna hold the breath as we step the right foot back, coming into plank pose, push-up position. Let's take one deep breath here. So inhale deeply. And then as you exhale, drop the knees, then the chest and chin. Elbows are in. Feeling the face nice and relaxed. The throat is relaxed. Really letting yourself sink into your body, feeling each movement as we go through this practice. Inhale, curling up, keeping the elbows pulled in, the insides of the feet come together, the legs are pulling together, and you're using the strength of your back to lift up the upper part of your torso. Nice deep breath again here. And inhale, curl the toes under. Exhale, push into downward dog, inverted V. So again, just working the heels towards the ground. And really pushing into your hands. Extending through the spine, through the back of the legs. Keeping your awareness on your breath. Taking that nice deep inhalation. And as you exhale, letting go of any tension in your body, just releasing that stress, letting your face soften. And we'll inhale, step the left foot forward, dropping the right knee and the right top of the foot. Gaze is back out at the horizon again. So go ahead and just feel the right hip opening. Feel the weight sinking towards the ground. Letting the face relax and just feeling a sense of happiness as you move through these poses. We're going to inhale and curl the right toes under. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Micro bend in the knees, letting the whole body hang. So really just letting yourself surrender again towards gravity. Your feet are supporting you. Remembering to breathe nice and deep. And then we'll inhale, reverse swan dive, straightening the back, tucking the hips, reaching up and gently back. 
and exhale the hands down. We're gonna flow through that one more time. So inhale deeply, reaching the arms out and up. Exhale, bringing the hands in front of the heart. Inhale, reaching up and back as you push the hips forward. Exhale, keeping the arms extended alongside the ears, bending forward, letting the neck release, the head hang, the face is soft. We'll take a nice deep breath pause here, so inhaling deeply. And exhale, seeing if you can let the shoulders go, the neck release. The face soften even more. Inhale and step the right foot back, dropping the right knee and the right top of the foot. Gaze is towards the horizon. And inhale, curl the right toes under. We'll step the left foot back. Body's in a straight line, plank pose. Exhale, drop the knees, then chest or chin, keeping the elbows in. And inhale, slide up into Cobra. No weight in the hands here, so you can kind of test yourself. Inhale, curl the toes under. We'll exhale, push the hands. Putting the hips up into the air, into downward dog. Again, releasing any tension in the neck and the face. And inhale, stepping the right foot forward, helping it forward if you need to, so that your fingers and toes are in a straight line. Dropping the left knee, the left top of the foot. Gaze is once again towards the horizon. And inhale, curl the left toes under. We'll exhale, step the left foot forward. Micro bend in the knees. The hands are hanging, the head is hanging down. And inhale, extending the arms up and out, really reaching, tucking the hips in, and exhale the hands down. One last half round, we're almost there. Inhale, reaching up and out, really just feeling yourself expanding. And as you exhale, drawing all that energy and happiness into your heart, and then sharing that once again as we inhale, reaching up, Celebrating the sun, exhale, keeping the hands extended alongside the ears, letting the head hang or bending the knees so the fingers and toes are in a straight line, palms are on the ground. Inhale, step the left foot back, dropping the left knee and the left top of the foot, letting the weight come into the hips, and just making sure that this knee is above the ankle and not too far forward. So if you notice that you're a little far forward, stepping it back a little bit. Inhale, we'll curl the left toes under, pull the breath, step the right foot back, body's in a straight line, plank pose. Exhale, drop the knees, chest and chin, elbows are in. Inhale, slide forward and up into Cobra, keeping the elbows tucked back towards the midline. Exhale, curl the toes, push into the hands and feet. Downward dog, inverted V. And inhale, step the left foot forward, dropping the right knee and the right top of the foot. Gaze is towards the horizon. Inhale, curl the right toes under. We'll exhale, step the right foot forward, letting the head hang, the arms hang. Slight bend in the knees. And inhale, reaching up and out, tucking the hips. And exhale, the hands down. Good. So separating the feet about hip width apart, we're just going to stay here for a couple of breaths. So really feeling grounded into your feet. If you want, you can close your eyes softly. And just letting your arms hang. And we're going to take a nice deep inhalation, rolling the shoulders up to the ears, and exhale, reaching them down, just creating a little bit more space in the neck and shoulders. Let's do that two more times. So inhale, rolling the shoulders forward and up, and exhale, just letting them drop back down. One last time, inhale, forward and up, 
Really using all your strength to pull them up towards your ears and then exhale, letting them drop. We'll slowly inhale, reaching the hands up to parallel with the ground. And as you exhale, we're gonna just start to sit down. So slowly sitting down as slow as possible. And then wherever you are, bring your hands to the ground. You're gonna slowly help yourself come back into a lying position. So this pose is called Shavasana, corpse pose. And you're literally just laying on your back, trying to be still as possible. So it's natural to make a few adjustments as you're laying here. So you can rock the hips a little bit if you need to. You can tuck the shoulder blades a little bit underneath the body to kind of open the front of the chest up. And just any little micro movements that you need to get comfortable, feel free to do that right now. You can turn the head from side to side just to help release the neck and shoulders. And then as you lay here, we're gonna bring all of our awareness into our breath. So inhaling deeply. If you want, you can put your hand on your abdomen to help feel that more. So as you lay here with your hand on your abdomen, taking those nice, slow, rhythmical breaths, I'll just do a few more rounds of those. So inhaling deeply to the count of three, noticing how your abdomen and hand raise towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale to the count of three, feeling the hand fall towards the ground. She release all that air. Continuing to stay with that rhythm and pace and just allowing your body to begin to unwind. Feeling a wave of relaxation starting to permeate throughout each body part. you exhale, letting that tension go, letting your face relax, letting the jaw relax, feeling your whole body softening and surrendering into the earth. Carry this relaxation one step further, energetically sending your breath up into your brain, just imagining that it's flowing all the way into each little brain cell. And as you exhale, letting go of any thoughts, any lingering tension, really giving yourself permission to fully relax into the moment. beginning to come back into your body we're gonna wiggle the fingers and toes and inhale you're gonna draw the legs together reaching the hands above your head like you're stretching nice and restored from a very relaxing and refreshing nap curl onto one side and bring your hands underneath your head just to make yourself a little pillow comfortable spot We'll slowly push back up into a seated position. And you can cross your legs here if you like. And you can wiggle from side to side, just untucking any flesh from underneath your hips. This may be a little bit challenging for you to sit cross-legged, so just do the best that you can. It's totally okay. As you do it more, it'll become more easy. So as you sit in the seated position, bringing your hands to your knees, we're going to inhale the right arm up, really reaching it up all the way, 
and exhale, extending it back behind you. You can look back over your right shoulder. We'll do the same thing for the left side, inhaling the left arm up and back. And you kind of rotate back over to that left side, exhaling the arm down and bringing it back to the knee. And then we'll do a little spinal twist to close. So I'm going to bring my right hand to my left knee and then twist over to the left side. You can bring your left arm behind you to help support. And then we'll do the same thing for the opposite side. So left hand to right knee, the right arm is behind. And looking over the right shoulder. And then coming back to center, 